Welcome back to K24 Alpha Jury. We're now counting down to the last 30 minutes of the show. And before the commercial break, we were talking about forgiveness and infidelity. You know, it is quite a heated debate over here because, I don't know, Dr. Ken is saying that, you know what, uh, there is a possibility that uh, women can cheat without emotions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He really has to take some know. time to convince me. <laughs> <laughs> We're still trying to wrap our heads around that. But let's just have a look at the opinion polls and what you guys are saying on our social media platforms. If I could have that on my screens, please. Um, the question was, if I could just have that on the screen next to me. Um, if we could have that on the screen right next to me. Okay, all right, fine. Uh, we shall have the polls uh, in a few minutes' time. But um, before the commercial break, Dr. Ken, you were meant to take us through uh, some of the reasons that men give as to why they cheat and women also give as to why they cheat. <laughs> if, if I can just take like seconds. Yes. Um, you know, for men, there is masculinity. Yes. That's masculine energy. Yes. And sometimes they just feel like they need to be out there. Hunter-gatherer mentality mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that, yeah, I need to do this. Mm -hmm. Then there's, of course, fashion. For men, it's a fashion to cheat. If you don't, guys are asking you what's up with you. Mm -hmm. And for men, there's also the sense of power that they need to dominate more than one mm -hmm. woman. Mm -hmm. And then there's advantage. I just mm -hmm. want to go out there and find out what I'm missing. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, there's that idea that experimentation helps for men. That, you know, you have your wife, so therefore find out what mm -hmm. else is out there. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and men come mm -hmm. up. That's why I said the reasons are very flimsy. And most of them, uh, mm -hmm. it's very rare you find a man cheating because of revenge. Revenge is for women. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and most of the men will tell you, mm -hmm. I just did it. In fact, for me, in that book, the first reason is mm -hmm. no reason at all. Because mm -hmm. you ask a guy, why did you cheat on your wife? And they say, I don't know. You know, so men are like that. They're, they're, they're like that. They'll cheat without knowing why they're cheating. Yes. And so out of those 21 reasons, you'll find this, the skinniest of them. Mm -hmm. And then for women, like I said, um, what tops the chart is negligence. And it's not financial. It's the emotional negligence. Mm -hmm. Then there's romantic malnutrition, the fact that she never feels like we're doing anything anymore. Mm -hmm. You used to date and you're all that before you got mm -hmm. married. Mm -hmm. Then once you do, she's home. And that's it, part mm -hmm. of the furniture. Mm -hmm. Then there's emotional drainage <laughs> that she feels as if she's putting in so much mm -hmm. that she's getting nothing back. Mm -hmm. Then the guy in the office starts telling her, mm, you know, you look good and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. And so eventually... When a woman, in fact, self-worth, that was a big one for women. When they want to restore their self-worth, right. they start thinking, let me get it from elsewhere. Because the husband is usually, the husband species is very bad at self-worth for a woman. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and it's very rare you find husbands who are married like the fifth year. They are still saying, hun, get ready, we are going to the movies in the evening. It's very rare. And, very. And, yeah, and yes. so when Why they is do that? <laughs> like I said, masculine mentality <laughs> that you know he would rather be seen. As. But the other reason, which which I found out during research, is that when when a man tells his woman, "Get ready, we are going to the movies," mm -hmm. and then she shows up like she's going to church in slippers mm -hmm. and stuff mm -hmm. or whatever, so we the men get discouraged. And tell them, I, I they try that, but, mm -hmm. but then the wife says, "I'm your wife. We're going to the movies, so let's go." And mm -hmm. there's nothing you'll do about it. I'll talk to them. Yeah. So then eventually, when he tells the the, the young girl, "Let's go to the movies," mm -hmm. she says, "Give me an hour," and she and comes. She comes all dressed up. Yeah. So <laughs> okay. when, when you compare those things, that excitement uh, in the male the uh, thrill. of Langata, yes, the yes. thrill of it, uh -huh. keeps men going at it all the time. Mm -hmm. and, and a lot of times, mm -hmm. the guys have no reason at all. They're not mm -hmm. cheating because their wives have offended them. Mm -hmm. They're just cheating because everybody's doing it and therefore let me do it. Okay. Yeah, so that's why, by the way, back to it, that's why I was saying for a woman to cheat, she will engage in it and still, I'll tell you this again, yeah. lock up those feelings. Okay. Yes. So um, <laughs> let's just listen to some of your views. And right now we have Caro from Nairobi. Good morning, Caro. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I'm great. Do you have a question or, a, or a comment? Sure. Yes. Now, my contribution is this. Eh? Mm -hmm. uh, this is from personal experience. Okay. My husband don't keep it on me. Okay. And when I learned about it, I just got off. Those feelings, the love I had, everything just went away. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So for the sake of the kids, we are together. Mm -hmm. But there is nothing like somebody isn't there. Okay. And, uh, like, I have an attachment outside, and honestly, the love outside there is too much. Okay. I just have that feeling to the other guy, but now because what did to me. Mm -hmm. So it's true that ladies, the moment she mm -hmm. goes out there, the love, all of it goes out. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. And uh, Destiny, you seem to be agreeing with Carol. Definitely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why? <coughs> we know ourselves. Mm -hmm. <laughs> As I said, mm. it's very hard for a woman to cheat. Mm. and still continue loving the husband. Mm -hmm. By the time she's deciding to go to another affair, mm -hmm. she has already finished. Mm -hmm. 
emotionally. With She's done with this one. But something is keeping her in the marriage. Mm. We don't also just walk out of marriage. There are mm -hmm. kids to consider. Mm -hmm. There are names to consider, mm -hmm. depending on how, who we are in the society. Mm -hmm. So a woman will stay mm -hmm. for the sake of all that, but mm -hmm. not emotions. Okay. And by the time she's leaving, mm -hmm. she has cried her tears out. Mm. She has talked to you, she has screamed, she has called you, she has texted, she has mm -hmm. done everything. Mm -hmm. When she stops doing all those things, mm -hmm. she's on her way out. Okay. James, do you think um, before men cheat, they actually take time to work on their relationship and what is missing in there? Well, it, all these things depend on the maturity of the individual. Mm -hmm. Because there are some people who are not able to work on their relationship, mm -hmm. even in, in, in a slightest problem. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because you find, uh, like Dr. Tari has said, there are so many reasons why people give, so many reasons people give mm -hmm. because of, of cheating and, and, and so on. Like women give their reasons and mm -hmm. men give their reasons. Mm -hmm. And uh, in my research as well, I've found out that most men who cheat, they, they sometimes they struggle with ego issues. Uh, probably the lady crushed his ego mm -hmm. and uh, he felt like a partner, maybe I need to go mm -hmm. uh, another way. And you, th there are so many reasons. Mm -hmm. Some are silly, some, you know, all mm -hmm. these things mm -hmm. that we say. Mm -hmm. But it, 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 the, the, the solution now to whatever problem you're facing in your marriage mm. depends on your maturity mm -hmm. as an individual, not necessarily the, the, the process of it. The process of it actually depends on how mature are you mm -hmm. and uh, to develop leadership in mm -hmm. your marriage mm -hmm. so that you are able to sit down and talk about things. Mm -hmm. Because you cannot say, tell me that you are cheating because I'm not good in bed. If, if I'm not good, then make me good. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Make tell me. Good. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Uh, come and talk so with me. The woman is supposed to make you good. That's no. What I yeah. If, if okay. we are married, Drop if we are married, sarcasm. we are in a covenant. <laughs> wow. If we are, we are married, we are in a covenant. Mm. How then, does a woman make if, a man good? If there is, is a problem, mm. whether it's on, in bed or wow. maybe communication mm. or maybe an unavailability, mm -hmm. I go to Qatar and come back after one month. Mm -hmm. Then you find a reason to cheat. Mm -hmm. You are walking in the flesh. But some men now you, you are so rigid, like they are the same yesterday today and forever. They are not the same right. as the day to day and forever. Changed. Now this is who I am. One quality of <laughs> one quality of a mature person mm -hmm. in marriage is mm -hmm. to develop leadership in mm -hmm. that marriage. Mm -hmm. Whether you are a woman or a man. Mm -hmm. You, are, you, you should be able to sit down with your husband, mm. you should be able to sit down with your wife mm -hmm. and discuss mm. even sexual matters mm -hmm. and tell them, by the way, Kuna Ville, mm. uh, you are not... <laughs> this is not working. <laughs> you just, you, this, you, you, <laughs> okay. It is not working. Okay. So don't go and cheat because I'm not good You're in right, these actually. things. Yeah. Teach me how to do it and teach me the way you want it. All right, interesting. So let's reasons. actually listen to Lucy from Nyeri. Good morning, Lucy. How are you? Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. I wanted to give a comment on that. Eh? Yes, please, go ahead. Yeah, I stayed in an abusive relationship for a very long time, for about seven years. Okay. And uh, my ex, I was in a partner, uh, my ex-partner. Okay. Used to keep, you know, accusing me that I was cheating and all that for so many years, but I never even once did. Mm -hmm. But when I got out of it and I was done with him completely, mm -hmm. then that's when I went out and you know, got involved in another relationship, but that was after we had passed it. Okay. And that is the only time, like, I believe, like, a woman does not just go out there and sit without the emotions being involved. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, that, that was just, but for men, I, well, I don't know. I don't know what happens to them, but for the ladies, I don't believe you can sit without your emotions being 100% involved. Okay. All right, thank you. Thank you very much, Lucy. Uh, doctor? Yes. Restitutive yes. infidelity. Mm -hmm. Restitutive infidelity, medical terms, therapeutic infidelity. Mm -hmm. And it works differently for men and women. For the men, like James was saying, mm -hmm. if your woman, your wife, is always bashing you about your sexual performance, about mm -hmm. your bed mm -hmm. habits, mm -hmm. then you go out there, and that's where you see some very sane guy on Koinanga Street picking up a prostitute, mm -hmm. and he's mm -hmm. not going to attach any feelings to mm -hmm. that prostitute is mm -hmm. not going to want to know her second mm -hmm. name. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He just goes there and the prostitute will sort him out mm -hmm. and make him feel like a king. Mm -hmm. So by the time he goes back home a week later, two days later, he's able to probably improve on, on his performance mm -hmm. because the prostitute has done wonders with him. Mm -hmm. He feels like a man mm -hmm. again. Mm -hmm. But for the woman, prostitutive uh, infidelity is where she's trying to repair her broken mm -hmm. self. Mm -hmm. The man is probably violent or the man is sexually just abusive mm -hmm. or the guy is negligent in terms of, you know, um, the, the intimacy thing. Mm -hmm. So she she, she tries to recover 
herself, mm. you know, from that badness mm. that the guy has put her through. So if you look at those two differences, the man will then invest nothing in, that, in, the, in the prostitute other than the money. Mm. And then when he goes back uh, a week later, he's feeling like, I'm the man or a day later, whatever. Mm -hmm. But you know, the woman who's doing this, she's trying to survive. Mm -hmm. It's her life, mm -hmm. and this mm -hmm. depends on her sanity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So she has to do that to escape that whatever. Absolutely. So sometimes when, during, during these things we write, we talk about uh, justifiable infidelity, mm -hmm. yeah, where somebody can cheat because they really have to. Yeah. And then you start thinking, okay, mm -hmm. maybe we need to pray about this. Yeah, but eventually, mm -hmm. when, when you talk about the couple, the two of them, mm -hmm. What he was saying would make a lot of sense if all of, both of us were mature mm -hmm. to the point where we do sexual postmortem, like I call it. You mm -hmm. analyze your performance mm -hmm. as a man, as a wife, mm -hmm. because sometimes women are very harsh. You know, they'll, they'll just dismiss mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. and, and <laughs> talk about all sorts of things, especially with their friends when they come for the chama. Oh you know, they finish you completely. Mm -hmm. But then the guy is sitting there thinking, I can't tell guys this about my wife. Mm -hmm. And so he retains that information mm -hmm. and he dies with it. Mm -hmm. And that's why when he gets a chance with whoever else in town, he will cheat. He will jump on yeah. it. Yeah. That part about women discussing, I agree with you, but this part about men just dashing to Koinange, picking a woman just mm. to, to like uh, really... Feel like a man again. <clears throat> like prove a point to mm -hmm. themselves. Mm -hmm. Then go back to the wife. Uh, there are also several cases where the man will feel crushed. Mm. Go out there, get another woman and just decide to settle with that one who is really massaging his mm. ego. Instead mm. of going back to the one who is crushing the mm -hmm. ego, yeah. they also decide to sit, to stay and just carry on with the new woman right. who is actually massaging the ego. Okay. Are there emotions attached or we are also still talking about the man going without feelings? Without the emotions. Because here he's not just investing money. Yeah. Sometimes it's not even about money. The woman may even have more money than the man. Mm -hmm. It's about how he feels mm -hmm. confident, mm -hmm. how important he feels in the hands of this other new woman. Mm -hmm. Mm, yeah, just to, just to respond to that, yeah. a, a lot of men, me excluded, are emotionally, <laughs> emotionally <laughs> bankrupt. <laughs> you know? And, and they, they go into relationships yeah. thinking, this is one of the questions I was asking during that survey mm -hmm. was, what's your definition of love? Mm -hmm. And women give you very deep definitions mm -hmm. of love. Mm -hmm. The man mm -hmm. will tell you the physical, he'll we tell you all deep. those things. Mm -hmm. And so when, when you think about the, that approach, <laughs> yeah. then you wonder, so what's the guy looking for when he's cheating? Because mm -hmm. he says, oh, my wife doesn't love me anymore, she just loves the kids. Then you ask him, so what do you mean? What's Attention. love? Mm. Then he tells you things like, you Attention, know, yes, you know, stuff like that, mm -hmm. which would, should not qualify at all. Once mm -hmm. you're married, you're committed to that person, mm -hmm. and you have to, like he says, live with them in terms of pampering each other and bringing mm -hmm. each other up whenever you're down, one of you or both of mm -hmm. you. Um, you know, to finish that whole con concept of agreeing on who does what when, mm -hmm. just think of it like this, that a man will go out there, maintain his full responsibilities at home, but mm -hmm. still be messing out on the other side. Mm -hmm. But like she says, a woman will go out there and get become very negligent about home. Yeah. Because she says, okay, I've given up, you know. So that's, yeah, that's because she's real. <laughs> but I she's guess following her She's being real. She's <laughs> following her heart. Okay. All right. But now, <laughs> after you have cheated and you have been caught, how do you pick up the pieces? Let me start by saying this. Yeah. First of all, before we think of how you were caught and now you are sorry, mm -hmm. the first question is, why are you sorry? Mm. Because a real apology will not come because I've caught you. Mm -hmm. It will come because you actually think you've been doing the wrong thing, mm -hmm. whether you're caught or not. Mm -hmm. As far as I'm concerned, this reconciliation and apology because I found you red-handed mm -hmm. is not real. You're only trying to reconcile, mm. to make up with me, mm -hmm. to, steady the to make ship. peace with me. Mm -hmm. but you're not going to drop that person. Mm -hmm. You can't convince me that because I caught you, you're going to fall mm -hmm. apart with the other person. Mm -hmm. No. Okay. May James, I... do you believe once a cheat, always a cheat? Whether you ask for forgiveness or not? I don't believe uh, that mm -hmm. uh, once a cheat, always a cheat. There's always room for repentance mm -hmm. and uh, reconciliation. Mm -hmm. First of all, I will say that infidelity is bad and there are different scopes. Uh, probably Dr. can explain the different scopes of mm -hmm. infidelity. Mm -hmm. And it's as bad as uh, the constitution saying that mar divorce can only be allowed on grounds of mm -hmm. infidelity mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and other reasons that mm -hmm. the constitution has said. Even mm -hmm. the Bible says that, uh, the Apostle Paul said, uh, only in case of infidelity, mm -hmm. but we have forgiveness as well. Uh, th that comes with it, you mm -hmm. can forgive mm -hmm. someone and reconcile with someone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But now, uh, in this case scenario, you have found 
out that your wife is cheating on you. Mm -hmm. You are the one who has found out. They did not confess that act. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then uh, at that or point... Your husband, or, or, or your husband. Or your husband. I'm a man, I'm talking on behalf of men. <laughs> <laughs> or your husband. I am the one who has found out that you are cheating on me. Mm -hmm. Now, the first thing that I'll, I, I, I'll start with is to identify the scope of infidelity. Mm -hmm. Has it been uh, something that is, has been going on for a while? maybe five years, maybe you, you, you've been cheating on me for five years, yeah. or it was just an office quickie or yeah. something, yeah. you know. Yeah. There, there are those uh, dynamics that come with it. Yeah. So what is the scope? Mm -hmm. Then, first of all, what needs to happen is the process of repentance from the person who, is, <laughs> who has been involved. Now, the, that process... This is the third party now. No. Now, you. Okay, the, the wife. Your, right. your, my or wife. The husband. Okay. It, it, there has to be a process and ownership or taking responsibility mm -hmm. of the sin mm -hmm. because I'm the one who, 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 who caught you. Mm -hmm. But if you are the one who confessed, mm -hmm. then it makes the burden lighter. Yeah. But if I'm the one who caught you, then yeah. there has to be an evidence of of taking responsibility Remorse. and uh, being remorseful mm -hmm. and all, all that process of reconciliation begins mm -hmm. from you first mm -hmm. because now you have broken trust you have uh, yeah, broken yeah, everything yeah, is yeah. crushed mm -hmm. and it's hard for me i'll tell you it uh, it will be hard for me to to to, to forgive as an individual mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah but if the person is remorseful mm -hmm. enough and goes through the process of repentance mm -hmm. then I will, I will, I will accept it. In, in, depending on how my relationship with that person mm. is, and one thing that I will apply probably is the open kitchen policy, mm -hmm. whereby now everything becomes an open book. Mm -hmm. I have all your passwords. I <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. have my passwords, my ATM yes, pins, so and that we everything. go and through the process gadgets? together. Okay. But I can't, I can't say that once a cheat, always a cheat. Yeah. There's always. Yeah. A, a, a room for repentance okay. to okay. everyone mm -hmm. okay. and there's always a room for forgiveness okay. you everyone. will choose once you have found out that your partner is an infidel yeah. it is upon you to choose whether to remain with that person yes. or not okay yes dr oko there's there's something in the in the school of cheating mm -hmm. that is called PCR, mm -hmm. uh, the post cheating records. Mm -hmm. And and in 2014, uh, some famous psychologist called Don Baumer came visiting here, and we mm -hmm. carried out an experiment with him. Mm -hmm. We told men and women who were married mm -hmm. to go home and carry voice recorders, which we gave them. And you go and tell your wife as soon as she walks into the house or into the kitchen or wherever you are, mm -hmm. tell her, "Hun, I have cheated on you, and I need to talk about it." Mm -hmm. You know, and then mm -hmm. we monitor the reactions. Mm -hmm. And same thing for the women. Mm -hmm. Go home one day and just tell your husband, "I need to talk." And then mm -hmm. you tell him, you know, mm -hmm. I, I transgressed and I need to apologize. Mm -hmm. The reactions from women, vicious, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. but eventually they reconstruct very fast and they're able to say, okay, let's mm -hmm. work it out like this. Mm -hmm. But for men, they get shattered completely. Okay. So they'll cheat, but they don't want to be cheated on. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. therefore, he, the mm -hmm. minute you tell him that, he breaks down. Even this guy who looks like, you know, mm -hmm. that rugby mm -hmm. player of, mm -hmm. of Kuyonda mm -hmm. becomes a total mess the minute the wife confesses. Even though it didn't happen, we're just carrying out an experiment. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So eventually, when you look at this thing, you're talking about forgiveness and all that. Mm -hmm. Think about the reaction of the other spouse. What does mm -hmm. it do to that person? Mm -hmm. And then forgiveness becomes a qualified okay. uh, reaction. All right. Yeah. So, and I'm sure there is a lot of reaction on social media. And Jeff Motte is on standby, ready to, you know, sample some of your comments. Jeff Motte. It's all about forgiveness after infidelity. Quite an emotive issue. You can see the tweets are coming in in the droves. People definitely feeling some type of way about it. Of course, if you want to tweet us, the hashtag is K24AlphaJiri. The handle, tweet us at K24TV, and you'll read them right here, of course, on the show. Let's get them up as we get them because there are so many to go through. Hey, people, people are definitely feeling uh, this particular topic. Uh, let's start off with Israel Kagiri. It's not easy, but I will forgive because it gives me freedom instead of holding on to bitterness. Uh, so that's what he'd do. He'd just let it go. Instead of uh, letting that poison bite him, he'll just move on and forgive. Uh, the next tweet coming in right there. Uh, Sally says, I think as a woman, lack of emotional support could lead to cheating. There are men who only flirt with you during courtship. Well, there you have it. <laughs> uh, Sylvester Jams, it's hard, but it's the best way to go. Of course, I'm him alluding to the fact that I'm the hard part being forgiving after infidelity, but it's the only way to go for him. Uh, bulletproof Cordonio, what a handle. Obviously, I will forgive. A mistake is uh, not a mistake until repeated. 
So if it's the first time he's willing to forgive after that, then it's a choice. Uh, Marupa Jeff, hi, watching live from Qatar, Doha. Loving the conversation, of course, on uh, Alpha Jiri this morning. Uh, Karibu sana, uh, uh, Mr. Marupa, glad you're on board. Uh, Mary Thianga, yes, but, very big but right there, I will not forget. <laughs> Food for thought on that one. Omita, for in the conversation and learning a lot uh, on this particular issue. Of course, very many sides uh, to this are being brought out. Maury says, no, no, infidelity is like an addiction. Even if you forgive each other, she or he will still do it again. We have one final tweet coming in right now. Uh, and De Smiley, it's not easy, but I can. What happens is that trust is lost and a slight mistake awakens the pain. I think um, uh, the second last tweet right there brought an issue uh, in that particular regard because when you think about it, very many people usually say that um, once you cheat the first time, you've opened the floodgates and it'll happen again and again and again. As you can see, some people yeah. still saying that, yeah. yes, I will forgive, but I will never, never ever forget. forget. Absolutely. Yeah. Everything you do, your passwords are our passwords yes. in this household from now moving forward. Yes. So the rules of engagement change <laughs> exactly. completely. Exactly. But, you know, the big question is, why would I take you back if I'm constantly just going to be reminding you of what you did? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Why should I take you back? Mm -hmm. that's, that's another question. But of course, like uh, they said at the beginning, once you forgive, truly forgive, yeah. you actually start letting go of this particular thing. And you remember all the yeah. good things yeah. that were there before this, hopefully, one incident. <laughs> I'm sure you can take it happen? from there. How much that does happen? <laughs> but it, it, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, dear, for that. Thank you very much for sampling those uh, comments. Please just keep on talking to us on our social media platforms. I just remind you that our Facebook page is K24TV. Instagram and Twitter is at K24TV. You know, it's interesting. And I'm still asking, why would I take you back, forgive you and take you back, and then keep on reminding you of what you did in 1977? You know, forgiveness is for the self. It's, yeah. it's not even for the other person. That's yes. And that's why you take that person back. You, mm -hmm. you heal yourself. Mm -hmm. When you forgive, you remove that burden, especially the psychological oh, one, yes. from yourself. Yes. You're looking at the person and thinking, silly you, but you know, it's, <laughs> you're, you're actually smiling about it because mm -hmm. then either they came out with it or you found them out mm -hmm. or something else happened mm -hmm. and it becomes easier for you to live that life knowing mm -hmm. I have set you free. Not set you free to go and cheat mm -hmm, again, but mm -hmm. set you free in terms of mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not burdened by this uh, yes. anymore. Because if yes. you carry it with you, mm -hmm. one day, you know, there, there was this guy uh, about a month ago who, mm -hmm. who was being asked, why, why are you running away from home? He said every day he wakes up, he finds his wife looking at him like this, mm -hmm. you know, and, and you ask the wife, why are you doing that? She says, mm -hmm. I feel like just slaughtering this guy. Mm -hmm. You know, so sometimes <laughs> she's holding something onto herself which makes her want to do something mm -hmm. bad to the guy mm -hmm. and that's harming yourself. Like Buddha says, mm -hmm. you get angry at someone, it's mm -hmm. you who's hurting. Very not true. that person. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, so but why, what you're asking is, why do you have to keep reminding the person? Mm -hmm. The answer is just as simple as this. Mm -hmm. You have not forgiven. You have not forgiven. All mm -hmm. right. Once so you're only working out something for the sake of the relationship mm -hmm. and staying together, mm -hmm. but you've not forgiven. Once you forgive, mm -hmm. you don't also want to keep remembering mm -hmm. because it hurts you. When you forgive, you heal mm -hmm. you or you disconnect it. with that thing mm -hmm. and you don't want to repeat it. You don't even want that person to keep coming back to you asking you, mm -hmm. baby, did you forgive me? Mm -hmm. Are you still angry with me? You want to forget that topic. Mm -hmm. So the moment you keep on saying it, you've not forgiven. Right. You're only trying to forgive, okay. but you've not forgiven. All right. James? Yeah, I, I don't think you should always remember whatever someone mm -hmm. did, though some things you cannot erase them from your memory, mm -hmm. uh, but a, a strong person will try as much as possible not to remind the other party of mm -hmm. what they did. But what I will advise is that if you, mm -hmm. uh, you have been caught, probably you, you have been an infidel for a while, mm -hmm. you are the person who should initiate mm -hmm. the process of mm -hmm. reconciliation yes. mm -hmm. more than the person who caught you. Mm -hmm. so like so if I caught my wife mm -hmm. doing stuff with mm -hmm. another person, mm -hmm. now after mm -hmm. the repentance process mm -hmm. and reconciliation, mm -hmm. now she should be the one who is uh, more Working concerned out. about the mm -hmm. work out the process mm -hmm. and assure me mm -hmm. that such a thing will not happen to give me the confidence that okay. I need. Otherwise, yeah. if they don't give me the confidence that I need, yeah. and uh, I, 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 I begin suspecting something fishy still happening, okay. then it, depends. It, will, it will bring up a How lot of problems. How are you to see yes. okay. the positive that I'm doing? Mm. Because there are people who will shut out anything positive that comes from me. Mm. But as much as I try, should I kill myself? That again is maturity. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that is where we end this discussion. Thank you so much for coming through and for giving us your opinions. Thank and you. thanks to you back at home for engaging us on our social media platforms and for the po and for the phone calls you know when it comes to matters infidelity i just don't know will i forgive someone who's cheated on me uh, i will reserve my comments on that. <laughs> i don't know what's your take on this uh really 
emotional, emotive issue. If God himself says I am a jealous God, who am I? <laughs> Me and him, man. <laughs> who am I? It's not happening. Uh, okay. Actually, we have, uh, you know, your feedback on Twitter. Yeah. You have asked, would you forgive your significant other after cheating? Mm -hmm. Apparently, a greater proportion of people say yes. Wow. They, well, clearly, they forgive. people much more forgiving than they seem. Wow. Yeah, so there you have it. And of course, they say the numbers never lie on that particular one. But this is where we leave it on Thursday. It has been, of course, a Relationship Thursdays right here on Alpha Giri. We are out for the day. But tomorrow, it's all about hanging out. An absolutely yeah. lit show it's coming Friday. away from 6 in the morning right here. Yeah. We say bye-bye. Bye-bye.